Hello friends, my name is Chansekar. This is my another video for Python tutorial. In this video, we will discuss about accesses of file. So which type of access? If you do have a read access, what you need to do? If you do have a write access, what you need to do? So let's check it. Let's check about the file. So I have created a one file, file.txt. You can check the permission by ls-lrt. So if you can see it is written like rwx on the front it is saying about blank blank or dash dash means it will used if there is a directory so let's create a directory and see it so ls minus lrt you can see abc so it if anything it is start with d that is means it's a directory and there is a three three characters R W X so R for read W for write X for execute the so first three is for user second three is for the group and last three character is for other user suppose you have you are not the part of group on that group and you are not the owner and you are some some other else then what type of access you have okay so it's, this is not only the unix other windows also you can see it by right click and the permission you can see it okay so here especially if you check it r for read w for write and x for execute based on that you need to judge it so let's remove every permission by giving change mode 000 file name you can see all dashes you can see that so that means no permission let's import os module we will use os.access in that there is two parameter path and mode path is the absolute location of the file and mode is do you have a read write and execute let's comment it and let's write file underscore name equal to file name so in this we have file name is file dot txt so that is my file so let's check about the problem if we use the os path module so os path dot is file it and file name so it will check for the file if file exists then you usually open it and do the uh, operations like f1 equal to open file name and the read okay f1 dot close and read it like print read line so usually you write it and you run python file you can see permission denied you checked about the file but you didn't check about the permission you do have really a permission or not right you don't have a permission you can also check for the right if you want to write it f1 dot write something just for sake of putting some data i'm just writing something now you run it it is saying about permission denied because you don't have a permission you can see it in the file okay so this is not the best way to write it first you need to check about the access if you do have a really access to do the operation like read write execute so let's use the os access to so print check file exist you can check the existence of the file os dot access the first parameter is your path that is file name absolute location os dot f underscore okay that means file existence it will check it will give you the boolean value it's like true or false okay so it check for the file if it found it then it written true otherwise it will return false so read access check about the read access everything will be same instead of f you can give r underscore okay let's run it uh, okay before that let's copy the same command to check for the write access in write access you need to check os dot w underscore okay and execute for everything will be same instead of r it will be ox so let's run first you can see check file exist it is true but you don't have a read write and execute permission you can see dot dot oh sorry dash dash you can see that okay let's change the permission of the file by giving read access change mode 400 file uh, as of now you forget about the command okay because in a unix section or unix tutorial i will tell you everything but just concentrate about this rwx so r for the read access so now you have a read access 
so let's run once again python and check it okay you can see now your file exists and you have read access read is true okay uh, okay now you can give uh, more permission and check it seven means read write execute all you can see rwx you can see that that means you do have a read write and execute let's run it you can see you do have all the permission now you can do any operation like reading writing and execute okay you can see that once again okay let's remove this code and let's use it in a code format okay change the permission but change for 00 to give just a read access okay then how to use os dot access in code okay let's check it if os access file name then os dot r underscore okay r for read access if you do have a read access then you can open it f1 equal to open file name and open for read then close the file i always close it first because i don't want to forget at the end okay let's print the read f1 dot read line sorry just give a read access read else you don't have a permission You don't have read permission let's run it you can see since you have a read access you can read through that file okay just simple code okay in this uh, file you have two lines and two line it is able to read it let's remove the permission read permission and let's see what will happen yeah you can see it is going to the else condition you don't have read access so your code is not yeah, in any case your code will work it means it won't error out okay let's check for the write access okay now you change it f1 dot write something let's run it you can see you don't have okay this is just echo you don't have a permission now you and now you can see you don't have the right access so just give a write access and run you can see in a file it is showing as a ww4 write access now it runs successfully right it didn't give you any error no. list out it is showing something okay i didn't give in a next line so that's the reason it is showing in the same okay let's run it now once again let's check it yeah it is something so uh, friend, this is the how you need to check it if the file having a read access or not write access or execute based on that you need to perform the operation so it, if you don't have a read access you can do the other operation like thank you friend uh, please comment me if you liked my video and also let me know how you are using os dot access in your file in your python and if you liked my video please share and like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want to know any more topic please comment it